but I couldn't find much of the ministry on tape, and that's very frustrating. Now, what we're proposing here is certain to work because it already has for decades. It's the late night talk show format with a host, a band, a musical director who's an integral part of the show, who offers creative banter with the host as he writes and plays original Christian tunes. The musical director and band will learn the scales of whatever's stirring it up in the Christian music scene at the moment for bump music in and out of commercial breaks and so on. I suggest this man for the job, Mark Johnson, who I've worked with in the ministry off and on for more than 15 years. He's extremely talented and has written and recorded dozens of contemporary Christian songs and produced several of his own full-length CDs, all while pastoring as music minister in some of the best-known churches in the country. You're listening to some of his work off of his last two CDs, and the pictures and videotape are from performances. Our chemistry together as ministers of the gospel in situations large and small all over America has been a true blessing to me. But most of Importantly, our chemistry has been used by the Lord to reach people, young and old. Here's some more of Mark's work. And the show as syndicated can be a commercial venture. The niche for this program is as big as it is unfilled, so it will have instant grassroots support in the Christian community nationwide. The niche for this program is as big as it is unfulfilled. Unfulfilled. Like I am right now. <sighs> My makeup hides a mask of fear. <clears throat> Over the next couple of days, run this concept by the Christians that you know who are in the 18 to 54 year old demographic range. I think the response that you'll get will be the same as we've gotten. It's a show whose time has come. But before any of that can happen, we've got to convince you that we've got what it takes to make this work. So after 33 years in the meatpacking business, here he is at the Kmart store. Tom, go give me a couple of cards, would you? Sure. Okay, Tom. Go. Hi, welcome to Kmart. Can I get you? Can I? Oh, sorry, can I get you a card? No, thanks. I don't need just a card. let me get. No, just I'm trying. Here, just give me a card. Please get away. All I want to do is. These are nice people here. I got a nice bunch of people. All I want you to do is try the card. I'm just trying to be a greeter like Jack Green. Having trouble walking because of an old war wound? Get good and tight. <laughs> A German appliance that fits his... <laughs> ...will make you slickery. This is a great job. I'd do this if they didn't even pay me. Ooh, don't tell them that. <laughs> just, just try the card. I just want you to take the card. It's not that big of a deal for you to take a little card. They always like to head for the two booths. They spot those right away and uh, start reminiscing about some of the things or the buildings that it used to be and uh, one gentleman come in and said yeah this is where my dad always brought me to buy a new pair of shoes for me and he was talking about the old button style lace type shoes and, yeah, and so it goes back to quite a few years for, for many memories for a lot of people hey Ray, how far would you have to go i mean what would you have to do to become a soda jerk well, for you, Tom, it wouldn't be much of a stretch. Since being discovered a few years ago, she's never been beaten. Nobody's been able to do that yet, 110 and 0, even winning the match that um, I broke my collarbone in. 
You know, I used to lift weights a little bit in college myself.